back to That's Life with John Carver. I'm calling this episode Juliana and the Stoics. This is episode number 211. Again, Juliana and the Stoics. If you notice, I'm wearing a shirt that says, Whining is for Babies. Uh, it was one of Juliana's quotes that she said when she was fighting cancer once upon a time. Now, many of you know that our youngest daughter, Juliana, fought cancer eight times between 2007 and 2016. She uh, died at the age of 14 on October 24th, 2016. And she fought cancer with the courage and the fortitude and the, and the heart of a lioness. She was determined to beat cancer and get better. As she fought cancer over the years, she came up with, now I have, I think, five or six pages of quotes that she said over the years. I would write them down as soon as I heard her say them so I wouldn't forget them. And I have, again, quite a few pages of, of her, her words that she said. And I want to share some of those words with you today because there's a connection between her words and some words that were said over 2,000 years ago. I want to kind of put those two together here today in this show. And I think it might give you an aha or two. On January 30th, 2012, she was fighting cancer. Um, she had beat cancer twice before that. And she said, um, she says, if it does come back, if the cancer does come back, I'll have to fight it off again. She was determined to keep fighting. In fact, the cancer did come back again for the third time in June 2012. And she fought it and beat it again. On September 8th of that same year of 2012, while she was in the depths of chemo and, and radiation, I once asked Juliana, I, I said, what are some of the characteristics of a champion? She thought about it a second. She said, don't complain, be brave, and have courage. This is a girl going through cancer for the third time. She didn't know it, and I didn't know it at the time, but her words over the years mirrored what's called the Stoic philosophy. That goes back more than 2,000 years. Stoicism, is the, the definition of it is, quote, an ancient Greek school of philosophy founded by Athens, by, by Zeno. The Stoics teach, quote, the endurance of pain or hardship without the display of feelings and without complaint. Again, the endurance of pain or, or hardship without the, the display of feelings and without complaint. Marcus Aurelius, who ruled between 161 BC and 180 BC, he was a Roman emperor and a Stoic philosopher. He said, if it's endurable, then endure it stop complaining. And if it's endurable, then endure it. Stop complaining. It sounds similar to the words that our Juliana said. In, in March uh, 2015, uh, my wife and I and Juliana were invited to um, a, a conference, if you will, by uh, Giant Food. And uh, Tammy, my wife, and Juliana were to give a speech of in front of more than 500 managers of Giant Food. And, and by that time, Juliana had fought and beat cancer four times. And um, she said in that speech, she said, over the last eight years, I've relapsed three times and gone through chemotherapy and radiation four different times. And I remember when I found out I had relapsed the first time, which is in March 2011, after crying for a few minutes, I dried my eyes and said, well, at least I know what I have to do to get rid of it again. This is a little girl. Tough, brave, courageous. Seneca, a, a Stoic philosopher who lived again more than 2,000 years ago before Juliana and you and I were conceived, said, quote, how does it help to make troubles heavier by bemoaning them Sounds like a lot like what Juliana said more than a few times, doesn't it? It continues to astound me and millions and millions of people around the world who follow Juliana's life on Angels for Juliana on Facebook and on YouTube and, 
and on her website that she didn't allow pediatric cancer to stop her laugh and to stop her trying to be a kid. In May of, of 2015, less than two months before Juliana, before we found out that Juliana had cancer for the fifth time, she said, I quote, I think I got to try my hardest and eventually it cancer, the cancer will go away and possibly hopefully get better. Better and easier and less pills, less going to the doctors. Okay, this is WDAD here interviewing mm -hmm. Juliana Carver. Juliana, you've been through some uh, very interesting situations over the last few years. Yep. And the world is wondering how you overcome all these struggles that you've been overcoming. It's not easy, obviously. But I just think I just got to try my hardest and eventually it'll go away and possibly, hopefully, get easy, better. Better mm. and easier. And it has less pills, less going to the doctors. <sighs> Tell me about all the people around the world that have been praying for you for so many years. Well, what do you think about them? They're nice. They send me gifts and cards to cheer me up. And I think it's really nice. And tell me about your little dog there. Um, what is her name again? Maddie. All oh, right, Maddie. Can you tell us a little bit about her and how you uh, were able to find her? Well, we were looking for a puppy dog, and I got cancer the second time. Second, yes. And then no, third time. Third time. It's very confusing. Right. Yep. And we called. And then they, we were looking at two dogs. One was named Boomer. I forget the other one's name. But they were both taken. And then they said, if we find anything, we would call you back. And they did the next day. And they said they found this little sheet on the road. And they will bring her in and see if we can see her. So on a Friday, after I was out of the hospital, we went to the SPCA and found Maddie. And we adopted her. And we love her ever since. Mwah. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is John Carver from WDAD right here in Manchester, Maryland. Thank you for watching our program. <laughs> her focus... Her focus was to beat cancer once and for all. In July of 2015, a couple weeks after we found out that she had cancer for the fifth time, she said, whining is for babies. Again, whining is for babies. This is after I asked her, you know, why doesn't she whine and complain about all this stuff she's been going through for all those years, cancer five times. Whining is for babies, Daddy. So even though I know Juliana's gone forever and, and I'll, I'll never see my little girl again, she continues to challenge me and millions of other people and push us, if you will, through some of our darkest days because of her incredible courage and fortitude. Less than 10 days before she passed away, she said, don't complain about something you can fix. Actually, she said that about a year and a week before she passed away. I'm sorry, a year and a week before she passed away. She said, don't complain about something you can fix. If you can fix it, then fix it. I think Juliana, well, first the ancient Stoics, and then Juliana have set a great example for all of us really understand that really complaining, whining and complaining isn't going to fix anything. I miss my little girl really bad. Really bad. Maybe you can learn something from her.
you want to follow her journey or her story, her life, is go to Facebook and type in Angels for Juliana. Over, I think, 130,000 people now are following her, and several million people have watched her on YouTube. Trying to keep her memory alive. I'm trying to, to let people see what courage looks like in the form of a little girl named Juliana Arena Carver. My name's John Carver, Juliana's daddy. Thanks for watching.